Barnes was a journalist in the 90s and she was doing her thing. The journalist gets blamed for this messiness by the network. My thing is, if it's not her show, if it's not her show to the point where she has control over editing, she has a say in what is put in and what is not put in. Why would you have a problem with her? What's up, y'all? So, I just want to address things as they come. Why? I don't really understand that. But that's exactly what happened. It all fell on D. Barnes. On January 27th, 1991, Dr. Dre encountered D. Barnes at a record label party. And this party was in Hollywood. Now, according to Barnes, she was almost pushed, you know, guided, if you will. I'm just using my own words here. She was guided whether that be forcefully or, you know, gently but forcefully, you know what I'm saying, where an attack on her went down. Dr. Dre has her cornered, and outside of the bathroom was a person that was holding a gun and was denying anybody access into the bathroom where this attack was taking place it, it might not be no bathroom it's saying something about a brick wall whatever you know what i'm saying tomato tomato but she was isolated in an area the bodyguard was doing what he do and this attack went down now according to d barnes she said that he picked her up by her hair and began slamming her head and the right side of her body repeatedly into a brick wall near the stairwell. I do want to tell y'all how this resulted and also I want to say, of course D. Barnes, as she should, she sued him in February of 1991 and she brought a $22 million lawsuit against Dr. Dre for this assault. And of course, he pleaded no contest. He was fined $2,500. I don't know if that fine goes to the state or that fine goes to her pocket, you know? So that's, that's one thing that's just like, okay, maybe the state gets paid and I don't type shit. He was placed on two years probation, which is nothing. And he was ordered to perform 240... 40 hours of community service and to produce a anti-domestic violence PSA to the people. Now, in closing, I want to tell you why this, this is very relatable to me. Now, sometimes I do get threats and I do tell y'all, you know, some things, you know what I mean? But in this field that I'm in, and if you are looking to get into this field as well, what you should know is you can't be scared of anything that's going to come your way, whether that's a blessing or that's the devil, you know, whether that's an opportunity or it's a woman beater, you know. What I really want to say about this is women, it don't even matter if you in this field or not, if you are in a situation where things fall on you, like things fail on D Barnes, you're going to have to handle what come with it. Because nobody was there to protect D Barnes, and all she had was herself. And we got to protect ourselves. If in your state you can have a license to carry, I feel like we should do that. If you don't want to have a license to carry and you don't want to carry a weapon such as a gun, you got to at least have a knife, pepper spray, something. Anything can be a possibility, especially people not liking what you got to say. 
it's going to be a lot of people that don't like what you got to say. And the difference between those people, you know, you can break them in half. Both of them don't like what you say, but this side is just not going to like what you say. And this side is going to want to cause you harm for them not liking what you say. It's nothing that she could have done as far as that episode was concerned. And I feel like that because she didn't have ultimate control. And that's why I like YouTube. That's why I like doing this. Because I have the control. This is my platform. I get to edit. I get to take out this line. Or, you know, this line is so good that I want to put it in the front. You know, I have the ultimate control. It don't matter if you're a woman or a male. What I want you to know is domestic violence is, number one, not okay. It won't make you feel better to hit on your significant other because you feeling some type of way about how your life going or you grieving or whatever the case is, you trying to deal with your childhood trauma. It's no excuse. And a lot of people want to blame his alcohol problem or his past alcohol problem on him hitting on women, you know, and, you know, both of those are related to each other. It was already in him. You got to understand something. If it's in you, it's in you. The worst thing that you can do is add alcohol, is add these hard drugs pills and whatnot that's the worst thing that you can do because it won't help it won't help you it's going to confuse your significant other and more cut it so yes this is a psa to to all right to all but to women we got to be strong we, we got to be prepared for anything because my thing is you're not finna guide me nowhere that i don't want to go you know i i think from this situation she was actually like trying to like she was screaming she was clawing trying to get away i would have been slicing i would have been slicing because it's nothing that you can do other than attack back in a situation where you are very outnumbered and very defenseless you outnumbered by a nigga's size and his weight and shit and they know how to use it if a woman beater is coming to you know beat on whoever right he gonna know exactly how to hit him where to hit them, all that shit from past things. You gonna pick up new things to do. Listen, we gotta be prepared for anything, especially if you in a field where it's a male dominated area or you know, it's a lot of people telling you certain things like threats or what not to do or what to do, etc. Yeah, you gotta be prepared. I hope that she has risen from this. You know, I heard 2019, she did say that she was homeless. So I hope that that's figured out. It's very unfortunate. You know, the lawsuit was settled out of court, but Lord knows how much that was. Was that before all of the millions? It probably was. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It probably was. But she deserves a lot more than whatever she got, period. Michelle A, too. I know you still mad, Dr. Dre, about her having a baby with Sugar and stuff. You need to let that go. <laughs> All right, whatever. Then I'll be telling him what to do. Anyways, so it's your girl, B. Octavia. More videos dropping soon. I will. It's your girl, B. Octavia, and I will see y'all in my next video.